Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Reaction and Review UK. See, it's not only America who can make shameless rip-offs. <sighs> uh, I'll be your host for this evening, Random. Just, just getting to the occasion, I'm wearing an England football shirt. Uh, you're probably wondering what this is all about. Well, Helsing920 is a good buddy of mine, so I asked him if it would be perfectly okay to make my own Reaction and Reviews, because there are a couple of films I had a feeling he would not cover, and he said, yeah, sure, go for it. But rather than just call it something generic like the irate reactor or something like that. I figured I'd honour his series, but just put a UK at the end of it. Seems perfect. Um, unlike Reaction Review, the original one, there's going to be a couple of differences. Number one, the movies I'll be covering of either I've never seen them, or it has to have been about five months since I've seen them. And there's going to be no Amazon wish list. Me and MJ and I have plenty of DVDs, so we appreciate it, but we're good. Thanks. So, what movie are we going to kick off Reaction Review UK with? <laughs> oh boy. Our movie for this evening is going to be Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Movie. A uh, little background check. Yes, I am a fan of the Power Rangers series. I did watch this movie as a child and I thought it was pretty good. And to be fair to this movie, by 995 standards, this was an okay action movie. I know people will say by today's standards it kind of sucks. But it's been a while since I've watched this, so let's see if it still holds up. With that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, grab some of the drink, sit back, relax, and let's watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. With the aid of his trusted assistant, Alpha 5, the noble master sought out six extraordinary... This is quite possibly the most vaguest description of a TV show I've ever heard. Can you imagine something like Garfield was presented like this? A while ago, a man named John Arbuckle came to the suburbs. He brought a fat cat with him that ate everything. Yes, folks, this is where the entire budget for the movie went. A skydiving scene. No, I'm not kidding. I mean, you see the CG stuff later? Oh, Jesus. Oh, hey there, annoying cinema kid protagonist. I'm looking forward to not seeing you in the series. Is it just me, or do all the characters seem to have, like, really squeaky voices in this one? You know, maybe it's the quality of the video, but Tommy sounds like he's inhaled a lot of helium. I mean, what kind of shit is that? Here's a common mistake a lot of TV to movies make. When you translate a TV show to a movie, you don't want to make it too different. Yeah, I'm looking at this movie, and it's kind of funny how costumes, sets, environment, whatnot, it really doesn't reflect the show. I mean, yeah, it's the same characters, but... You know... Say what you want about the Digimon movie. I mean, yeah, I know it's corny, but I want to point something out here. At least Infamon had the fucking sense to attack them while they're transforming. It makes you wonder, what were they doing while they were doing this? If it was me, I would have gone for a cheap shot. I'm just saying is all. The end. Oh no, got some more movie to go. Oh, shut the fuck up. And this just got a bit interesting. Then how come you went to the the beach to help them. You know, like, if you rapidly age as fast as Zordon, then 
How come you still went to the beach and you still look fine? I'm just saying. Okay. What the fuck is this? Can't you just go like... Alpha Breaker, we need some robots up in here. Uh, yeah, we've got a giant... Um, Cockroachy scorpion thing. Uh, yeah, send about six of them over. <laughs> Why is that so difficult? Yeah, I know it's Power Rangers, but come on, even I'm thinking this is corny. Curious thought I'm having right now. Imagine like a Japanese audience like watching this when it debuted. And they're probably saying something like, so, why are the Zero Ranger hanging out with the White Dire Ranger flying around in the Kaka Ranger's, like, mechs? Curious for, you know? Go to how America butchers everything. Oh, you have no idea, my friend. No idea. What? So, that was the movie. We'll just quickly stop that there. Be quiet. Okay. Before we begin, I want to say that when you judge the movie by the standards of the year 1995, it's a below average action movie. And from my child experience, yeah, it was a good film. But, okay, uh, the voices were a bit strange. I mean, near the beginning, most of the characters sounded like they had a bit of helium because they squeaked it up a little bit. The CG was terrible. Uh, the acting, well, apart from the Rangers, the acting was really bad. I mean, the Rangers are hammy as all hell, but since I've watched the series as a kid, I'm kind of used to that kind of hamminess. I even knew this was the best character because... He was so likable. Even though he was a douchebag. The plot was really paper thin. Full of cliches. And I think my biggest complaint with the movie is. Half the time they could not go five seconds. Without throwing out some generic one liner. Or a catchphrase. Or a buzzword. And it's it was really irritating. But I will say though. I mean some of the fight choreography was pretty good. Music was an extreme case of hit and miss. Because horrible like 90s. Like, pop music, just... It sounds terrible you listen to today, because, you know... Our tastes have all moved on. So, that's going to conclude the first... Oh, fucked it up a little bit. So, that will conclude the first Reaction Review UK. Uh, if you're interested in watching this movie, you can... Pretty much find this movie really cheap as chips these days. Uh, or, hell, you can find it on YouTube somewhere. But, um... Watch it at your own discretion, because... There are some really bad parts of this film. I'm just letting you know. Until the next time, ladies and gentlemen. I have been random, and because it's a similar, and because it's like reaction review, I will say take care, and I'll see you all in the near future. Peace. Wait, 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 wait. So, in the show, he has, like, a lance, which is, like, a really cool, like, double-handed weapon. In the movie, he has an evil tape measurer. Oh, and I see they've given the Pink Ranger a bondage whip. No complaints.